Greetings, the curious minds and nature enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the mysteries and wonders of the natural world. Today, we have a truly captivating and slightly eerie topic that's bound to intrigue your imagination. Imagine a world where tiny creatures are manipulated by something beyond their control, something straight out of a science fiction novel. That's right, we're delving into the fascinating realm of zombie ants. Before we begin this enthralling journey, we want to extend our heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for joining us. Your thirst for knowledge and curiosity are the driving forces behind the exciting content we bring to you. As we embark on this exploration into the extraordinary relationship between parasitic fungi and ants, we prepare to be amazed by the intricate dance of nature's hidden secrets. So, without further ado, let's unearth the astonishing story of how tiny fungi wield the power to manipulate the behavior of ants, leading them on a bizarre and haunting journey. Join us as we unravel the science, ponder the implications, and ultimately celebrate the boundless wonders of our planet. Stay tuned, dear viewers, because things are about to get truly intriguing. Manipulation by Parasitic Fungi Parasitic fungi that infect ants and manipulate their behavior are a fascinating example of nature's intricate and often macabre interactions. These fungi belong to a group known as entomopathogens, which are specialized parasites that target insects. One of the most well-studied cases involves the genus Ophiocordyceps, which exhibits a particularly eerie and intricate relationship with ants. Infection Process and Behavioral Manipulation The infection process of these parasitic fungi typically begins when an ant becomes exposed to fungal spores. This can happen through direct contact with infected individuals or through environmental factors. Once a spore comes into contact with an ant, it adheres to the ant's exoskeleton and begins to germinate. The fungal hyphae, filamentous structures, then penetrate the ant's body, eventually reaching its internal organs. As the infection progresses, the fungus takes control over the ant's central nervous system, effectively manipulating its behavior. The ant's natural behaviors are altered in a way that benefits the fungus's reproductive cycle. In the case of Ophiocordyceps, the infected ant is compelled to leave its colony and climb vegetation, often positioning itself in a specific manner conducive to fungal growth. Eventually, the ant dies, and the fungus bursts forth from its body, releasing new spores into the environment to continue the cycle. Fungal Reproduction and Spore Dispersal the most visually striking stage of this phenomenon occurs when the fungal fruiting body emerges from the ant's body. These structures can be quite elaborate and vary in appearance depending on the fungal species. Fungal spores are then released from these fruiting bodies and carried by the wind to infect other unsuspecting ants. This cycle continues as new ants become infected, manipulated, and eventually serve as hosts for the fungal reproduction process. Implications in a Human Context While the phenomenon of zombie ants and parasitic fungi is primarily observed in insects, the implications of such a phenomenon occurring in a human context can be both intriguing and unsettling. While there's no direct evidence to suggest that such fungi could target humans in the same way, the concept of parasitic organisms manipulating human behavior raises a host of ethical, scientific, and speculative concerns. 1. Biomedical Research Studying the mechanisms that these fungi use to manipulate host behavior could offer insights into neuroscience and the control of behavior. 
Understanding how fungi can hijack a host's nervous system might help uncover new ways to manipulate or treat neurological disorders in humans. 2. Ethical considerations. The idea of parasites manipulating human behavior raises ethical questions about consent and autonomy. While the chances of such a scenario are currently speculative, the potential for such manipulation challenges are notions of free will and personal agency. 3. Biosecurity and disease control. In a hypothetical scenario where a similar phenomenon were to affect humans, it would be crucial to understand the mechanisms of infection, transmission, and manipulation. This knowledge could aid in developing strategies to prevent or control such infections and mitigate potential risks. For science fiction and speculation, the concept of parasitic control has captured the imagination of science fiction writers, often leading to stories of mind control, invasion, and altered human behavior. While speculative, these narratives reflect both our fascination with and fear of the unknown. In conclusion, the parasitic fungi that infect ants and manipulate their behavior provide a captivating insight into the complex relationships that exist in the natural world. While the implications of a similar phenomenon in humans are largely theoretical, they prompt us to consider the intricacies of behavior, control, and the potential interplay between organisms in an ever-evolving ecosystem.